for the Lord to shine today. My master, will you be so kind as to shine on this message? Shine, my Lord, on the messenger. You will get all the praise, honor, and glory on this third day of March 2019. Isaiah chapter number 48, verse 10, gives us the message that I must deliver. It says, Isaiah 48 and 10, God speaks, and he says these words, I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Subject to the message, fear not. I am with you. Fear not. I am with you. My dear, tested and tried, believing friends, take comfort today in the words of our text. God has tested you. He has tested you in the fire of affliction. So what I want you to do, a friend, is just relax and think. Realize that the fury of fire has been extinguished, has been put out. Thank you, Jesus. You have chosen me and that you have said I am with you. What a promise. Believer, want you to remember that you wear, we wear the armor of God. So, what you just say to yourself with me? Let trouble come, for God has chosen me. When poverty comes, God is still in my house. God has chosen me, so sicknesses, aches and pains may come. My armor. Whew. God has chosen me. No matter what press against me, I know that God has chosen me. Is that your testimony today? Fear not, my master says. I am with you. I hear the voice of doubter which says you might as well give in. There's no hope. Fear twin sister to doubter says there is no hope. You may even say, why, Reverend, I've carried this burden for years and years. And if there was a cure or hope, it certainly would have come by now. I just want you to know that God is true to his promise. He will not have an untried people. He must prove us. Ha. 
My friends, today is the day of your victory and deliverance. Today is your day. The Lord is there. Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is there. Learn from the question raised by King Nebuchadnezzar in that third chapter, verses 24 and 5 of the book of Daniel, where the king says, raises the question, uh, did we not put three men bound in the fire? Behold, I see four men loose. Mm. Jehovah Shammah. The Lord says, Fear not. I am with you. My friends, you can singularize this. My friends, in your lonely room, there is someone sitting beside you. He needs no key to unlock the door to your room. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, he is able to walk through closed doors. And then he'll say, Fear not. Ah. I'm with you. You may be poor and lonely. You may be broken hearted and deserted. But God wants me to tell you that Jesus is a frequent visitor to uh, people in desolate places. He's a frequent visitor to people in hard and impossible places. Whew. Jesus loves to visit those that are in such places. And so I ask you today, are you down to your last dime? Has everybody refused to help you? just want to tell you today that I've been there. Tell you what I did. Tell you what I want you to do. Look up. Look up. Call on Jesus. He will say, fear not. For I am with you. Songwriter said that he will come down from the sky. Wipe the tears from your eyes. There is someone who cares for you. Someone who cares when the world seems cold. When your friends are few. There is someone who cares for you. Jehovah Shammah, the Lord, is there. You may not be able to see God with your eye. All the time. But. You. Can. Always. Feel. His presence. Huh. What a friend. We have in Jesus. So today. Shake off. All doubt. And. Put fear on restrictions. Your faith will drive them away. Trouble comes your way for a reason, my friend. Uh, trouble helps your strength. And it prepares us to help others who experience trouble. So just going on through the trouble 
And thank God, it don't last always. It's only because you have carried heavy loads that you develop strength to go on. Hard Knocks University is how adversity has been characterized. But believer, I just want you today to learn your lessons in the school of Hard Knocks. Learn your lessons well. They will help you and you will be able to help others. Unbelievers, you desire the food, the nutrition that has been fixed and prepared for the children of the king. Ha! Unbelievers, desire Food that's been prepared for the king's kids. But that food is slightly out of your reach. You just can't seem to get your hands on it. Ah, dissatisfaction has you spellbound. Unbeliever, perpetual dissatisfaction is the experience of any man a woman that has no personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Never shall forget what the late Dr. William M. Bill Brent said to me. He said these words. A personal encounter with Jesus is necessary if you are to be one of his. I've had that personal encounter with Jesus. You can have it today if you just call on him. Ha! Come to Jesus today. My friend, some things, I'm going to rush and get on out of here. Some things ha, are held in reserve. Ha, some of life's greatest blessings are held in reserve. Ha, held in store for those for whom they were prepared. Make your preparation today to receive the blessings of God by praying the sinner's prayer. Just tell him that you believe that he died for your sins and you believe that God raised him from the dead. Ask Jesus to save your soul. That is the only prayer that Jesus is obligated to hear from God. An unbelieving sinner. Whew. Say that prayer, then you will get on straight street. You'll be able to dine huh, at the king's table. If you get with God, God will get with you. That is the message for you today. My dear friend, fear not. God says, I am with you. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, he is able to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding great joy. He is the only wise God to whom be glory majesty, dominion, and power, both now, henceforth, and 